So we've been talking about um, what's coming, and it's not good. It's not good. So are you predicting, are you believing that we are around the corner of a real like collapse, a so recession? The problem what is, the problem is timing with me. So when you say right around the corner, I will tell you that a collapse is coming that will change everything. I believe that it will come before this, uh, come shortly uh, before or shortly after the election. Um, and I think... So that it, imminent, like when you say the election, you mean the midterm I election? I think it could happen tomorrow. They know once America and the Western world see what's going on, it's not going to, I mean, you think what's happening, look what's happening with just with COVID, the truckers up in Canada, people standing up. When people really understand, things are going to change. So it's a race. Do we wake up before they put us in a cage, a digital cage? That's really what's happening. So I don't know when, but they need us in a digital cage and the best way to do it and the last way to do it is a total meltdown of the financial system of the West. Because that's when you change everything. So, mm. please, concentrate on what you have and what you need to do. What do you do? Well, if you don't have very much money, I would buy canned foods. Canned foods. Every time you go to Costco, buy more than you need. And don't touch it. Leave it. Canned food will be not only a blessing for your family and others, but it is also something that will have great value. If things really go to hell in a handbasket, you ain't seen nothing yet with a supply chain. So please, prepare your family for impact. Get food that is not just to feed your family, but it can be used to trade and will be worth money. All the way from a, cans of food to, you know, nails. And I mean, look at what's happening with lumber. What are people going to need? Cigarettes, alcohol, uh, whatever it is that you know society just takes for granted. Those things will be worth a lot. <laughs> you think bullets are expensive now? Just wait. You go from that all the way to land. Do not over leverage yourself. You have to understand what's coming your way. So don't over leverage yourself. But land, if you have the money, has intrinsic value. I would say be careful of a rental property. Why? Did you see the news that came out today on rentals? The price of rent is the is increasing at the fastest pace in decades. People are, it's 10%. Rent is going up 10% this year and they think it's they don't think it's done yet. What happens if you are the guy who owns the rental property? What happens? You're the monopoly man. Even if you don't if you're not the monopoly man, you're not driving you are the one who is the evil landlord. And you saw what happened during COVID. So just be careful. Uh, and please, I am not a financial advisor. So please, please um, do your own homework on, on all of this stuff. All right. So what else do you do? Well, another thing that you, you really need to consider just on inflation by the way, food, land, art, an old Mustang that has been redone. Whatever you know will not ever lose its value. Food is never going to lose its value. A classic whatever that is rare. It should have scarcity. Or it should be facing scarcity in the future. Um, the next thing you need to do is get your money out of these big banks and tell them why you're doing it. 
I refuse to do business with any financial institution that is using ESG. When you stop using ESG as a marker, then fine. But until then, put it in a credit union, a local credit union. Keep everything local. Speaking of that, if you haven't thought about your zoning committee yet, it is as important as your school board. I guarantee you almost every town in America has the 2030 plan, the 30 by 30, which is part of the Great Reset. I can guarantee you it's in your town already. Run and win seats on the zoning committee. You've got to keep this out of your local town and your state. I have talked to several state legislatures uh, in the last week. This is starting to pick up steam. But unfortunately, I think a lot of these states are missing it. Every red state should have, I mean, I think every state should have this, but every red state needs to have an anti-ESG bill that is tied directly to the finance uh, markets. If the financial sector, they're the enforcer of this. If the financial sector starts enforcing ESG when it comes to making loans, et cetera, et cetera, it will change everything. The energy community knows this. That's why they've already stepped to the plate and they're already changing the law in uh, West Virginia because of coal, in Texas because of oil, Oklahoma because of uh, oil. But it's, that's only the E. The social justice and governance are just as bad. Call your state and call your legislat- legislators and make sure that they are going to pass an anti-ESG bill. With the S and the G, not just protecting the oil companies. Protect me too. Tell them that. I am not an oil company, but I'm going to get hit with social justice. Also, call your congressman. The Build Back Better bill, they are working so hard to get that passed. They have to have those final pieces. Nothing in that bill can pass. Nothing. And it's not about the price tag. It's about the pieces of the machine for the Great Reset. I I hate saying this because this is so urgent. Um, And I I hate the fact that this is charging you money. Um, But I have to. The Great Reset. Order the book now, please. Barnes & Noble is taking orders. Amazon won't take orders. Um, Take orders now. There's a paper shortage. We've ordered a bazillion books, but I think this thing is going to sell out fast. And you need this book quickly. If you are someone who is in Congress, if you are someone who is in a state house, read it on Kindle now. Now. Read it on Kindle. Let me, let me let James Lindsay explain why this is happening. And it is truly terrifying that, you know, progressives have always believed in this utopia, that they can have the experts run everything. And when they say that, and you're like, oh, well, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's good. Have you seen what the experts have done just with COVID? And you're not going to be able to speak out against it. They will silence you. So there's no going back once this starts. And it's close to starting. Why would these companies and everybody do this? Listen to what James Lindsay says in this upcoming podcast on Thursday. Listen to this. You know, I have a theory on this. No, nope, I'm sorry, not this one. You know, the uh, the second one with James uh, talking about how tech is uh, thinks they can do the utopian dream. Do they actually believe, or do or or do they know they're only positioning themselves for power? You know, I look at people like 
Bill Gates and Klaus Schwab at the World Economic mm-hmm. Forum. And I think that they're probably true believers um, in very significant ways, especially Klaus. I think they believe that what's hindered, if you read the Marxism through the 60s, you get this sense that what hindered the Soviet Union was that it lacked the technology necessary to meet the production levels necessary to have a thriving society. Capitalist society found production, but they have all this exploitation. And that was the big question that they were wrestling with. And so now with the advent of AI and with you know all of these new machines and robots and self-driving vehicles they want to unleash, I think they actually think we can pull it off now, that you know the AI can predict distribution to get around um, the information problem that von Mises pointed out and said, this is why communism and socialism don't work. Planned economies don't work because there's information being exchanged between the people engaging in a market. And without that information, you don't know what goods and services are needed. So you have huge excesses of, say, steel or huge deficiencies of, say, bread, and it doesn't get worked out. But with super advanced AI, well, they can predict what you want and give you an advertisement for it before you even know you Correct. wanted it. So they, th- I think that there are people, these kind of highly technologist types who genuinely believe that they're going to pull it off this time, that we now have the necessary technology to make it work, not understanding that human beings are still human beings at the bottom unless the full Marxist program is brought to bear, which is to remake humans to need different things. Well, they are doing that. That's the goal. They are doing that. Transhumanism, Transhumanism. is the end of that, but uh, it's frightening. This is what Stephen Hawking was warning, warning about. This is what many people are warning about. Transhumanism, where you become one with the technology. You're, and in the Great Reset's own words, at the World Economic Forum, in their own words... They will know what you do, where you go, what you do, what you say, what you think, and even what you dream. That's transhumanism. Real quick update. Uh, Elon Musk just hit a milestone for his, uh, his brain implants. And he is developing a brain implant uh, that will be able to connect you to the internet. That's good, right? If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.